so let's see. We are going to do, yeah, we're going to do this card first. I didn't show you because I wanted to kind of save it out. This card features the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. So this is another one of our retiring packs of paper from the annual catalog, the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. And I'm going to actually show you. I brought all of my sheets of that over so you can see just a beautiful, these shades of green. And they did something, another one with shades of green in the next catalog. Um, different colors, different patterns and things. This to me is kind of like a, is it like an English garden or something, right? Super pretty. So there's one half, one side, and then flip it over and here is the other side. All of these pretty patterns of Garden Lane Designer Series paper. Beautiful, beautiful pack of paper. So you can see, did I show? There, that's the one that we're using, that paper right there on this card. I actually have a couple more to show you too. These were some swaps and things. Um, so this is another one. Hello, Miss Carolyn. And then there's this one right here and that one right there. So you can see all the beautiful projects you can make. We were loving, clearly, the Daisy Punches back then too. I think that new medium Daisy Punch that had just come out in last annual catalog. So we used that a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping. I'm gonna get my sip of water. Find my, what do I need, scissors and adhesive. Okay, oh, and actually I have something new to show you. So I was kind of trying to do that, show you some retiring product and then some brand new stuff. So this Just Thinking of You is a brand new stamp from the Many Mates stamp set. This one is one that you'll be able to order starting on June 3rd with the new annual catalog. Or if you're a demonstrator or you get the starter kit, you could pre-order this and get it in your starter kit right now even. So we have that Just Thinking of You, that's the sentiment I used. Lots of awesome sentiments on here too, right? Get well soon, happy anniversary. I always need those and we don't, we don't put that stamp on enough um, stamp sets, I don't think. Let's see, it's your day, happy birthday. You're just so fabulous. I like that one. <laughs> Congrats, celebrate and thanks. And you can see lots of fun fonts on there too, right? And then we've got maybe some kind of outside inside. So I'm just gonna read these even though they might not make sense. They probably go with one of these up here. But we've got so happy for you and also slightly jealous. Okay, that's kind of a funny one, right? Uh, better yet, so maybe get well soon, better yet right? Because you make me smile. You're so nice. This calls for a huge celebration on your retirement. So maybe congrats on your retirement. I'm glad you were born. <laughs> Today is all about you. Life is better with you and you totally earned it. So an awesome new stamp set, again, called the Many Mates stamp set that you'll be able to order on June 3rd, or again, get it in your starter kit today. Okay, so that's the stamp set that we use. Let's see. We also use the little smudgy that one right there um, behind it from the Dressed to Impress stamp set. Okay, and we're going to do some die cutting. So let's, uh, I'm going to get everything out and then I'm going to have it all in the way. I can just tell. All right, we'll get these ink pad colors, get these guys out here, right? That one goes there, that one goes there. Okay, let's, I want to talk about dimensions here, okay? So we start with, we are in view, right? If I pull this down, is that going to be out of, nope, we're still good. Okay, I'm trying to give myself a little more room. So this is a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. Okay, there's your full sheet of cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall fold to our card, okay? Then we have basically the only thing that you need measurements is for this piece of designer series paper. I agree, Susan. I think the sentiments are awesome. This piece of DSP measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And then everything else, these are all just scraps that we're going to do stamping and die cutting on. Uh, soft sea foam and whisper white cardstock is what you need there. And again, I will give you measurements, um, product item codes, colors, everything that you need to know on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. And the link will be attached to this Facebook Live video too. So you don't even have to search anywhere. Just click the button and it takes you right there. Okay, so let's do, we're going to do the stamping because this we're going to cut out with our 
um, layering circle dies. And then we've got a couple of other dies we're gonna cut there too. Okay, so let's do our stamping on this one right here. Okay, where am I going? I'm right here. <laughs> I don't need to go anywhere. Okay, so we have soft sea foam ink. And you guys see, right, how everything coordinates. We've got our soft sea foam ink, soft sea foam cardstock. That's a hard one to say. There's kind of hints of soft sea foam in that designer series paper, right? And then I used uh, shaded spruce ink with um, shaded spruce kind of highlights in there also okay all right so the beauty of stamping up and all those color coordinations right so we're just going to press that little smudgy down on there this is a great so um the stamp sets or the sentiments are really fun right and then these little smud smudgy things those are always awesome to have just to kind of you know it just kind of added a little something to you could have just stamped the just thinking of you but kind of putting that little wash behind there just adds a little something fun so remember that when you're like oh it needs a little something else maybe it just needs a little smudge like that okay all right then we have our shaded spruce ink and we are going to stamp make sure i have this correct here just thinking of you i'll put that right about there there we go <laughs> i love the little um curly q on the o there right just thinking of you and then the little underline super cute like that font a lot okay now we're going to do our die cutting we have a couple of things to cut here so let's make sure oops and apparently i used that for who knows what and <laughs> didn't clean things off sorry it's probably like um, wiggling okay so we have our circle let's see maybe I can put that up there that one there and that one right there we'll see if we can get all these on and do one crank through here all of my dies here we go okay so these are the stitched nested labels dies we're gonna use this one is the second largest die so largest second largest is what we're gonna put on our whisper white we don't have to do any stamping on there then we have our layering circle dies. We're using this one right here. So it's the one, two, three, the third smallest. This is the straight edge is what we're going to cut that piece out with. And then one more set of dies. I kind of went crazy. The painted labels dies uh, is what we're going to use here with this little piece is what we're going to put on our soft sea foam cardstock. Okay. And I will tell you guys, um, None of these are retiring. So the stitched nested labels dies continue, the poppy dies continue, and the layering circle dies. I think there's a new item code for these. They, they kind of made it sound like they're retiring, but it's just a new item code, okay? So all of those will be carrying over for us, which is fabulous. Okay, so let's make sure. <laughs> if I scoot that like that. So this is the only one I have to make sure and it's the only one that's being a pain too that's like wiggling around on me of course right there that looks good okay let's do our die cutting here and i apologize i'm sure there's going to be a wiggle and i'm going to go back and forth because that detailed squiggly one you got to get a good cut on that so sorry just turn your heads away for a sec <laughs> i'll tell you when we're done wiggling okay <laughs> there we go all right so this one is easy. This will pop right off. Okay, got that guy. I love the stitching on there. Still love that one. It's not really an oldie but a goodie, but it kind of is. Okay, and then that one pops right out too, right? Okay, now this one will be a little bit more effort. We're going to scoot this out of the way though. Okay. Did I bring... Oops, I didn't... <laughs> I forgot to bring my little mat, but let's see. So you wanna be, you do have to be careful. So some of these things just pop right out. We're gonna do that, right? The little holes are what are gonna help you kind of pop the die out. And I ripped one, that's why I'm telling you to just kind of be careful. You could use your brush, your die brush if you have it. I forgot to bring it over here. So we're just gonna use our paper piercing tool. And we're just gonna kind of lift that off carefully though so that we keep it all intact, right? Isn't that fun? It's like a big swirly sun, and then it's got the stitching on it too. Love that die. I've only used it a couple times too, so it was fun to kind of break into that one for this project here. Okay, mm, where's my card? Right here. 
I think we are ready to put things together, right? Yeah, I think, I think. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna add some adhesive to the back of our designer series paper, okay? We're gonna put this over on the corner right here. And again, you see the pear pizzazz in this designer series paper coordinates perfectly with our pear pizzazz cardstock. We are gonna grab, this is some of the burlap ribbon, and we are just gonna kind of measure this and then adhere it behind things, okay? So it doesn't even have to come all the way together. You do want to use a good amount of adhesive, and this, because this is pretty um, sturdy, I guess I'll say. So I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive right there and maybe right about there, okay? So we're gonna lay that down. I'm gonna press really firmly to get that on there. And then you do want to really kind of bend that so it goes right over the edge of the cardstock. And then same thing with this one, bend it and make sure it's lined up so it looks like it's straight, right? And then we're gonna press firmly again. This just kind of has a mind of its own, so you really wanna press firmly to get those down there well, okay? Next, we are gonna put some dimensionals behind this one. Let's see, good, I do have, I started using all my dimensionals and then I was afraid that I didn't have any more. Um, ooh, my first class for June. Monica, you know what? I have been thinking about it. Um, and I don't know for sure. It's um, because if I want to market it right away, it needs to be one of them that we could pre-order. So I need to look at those. Um, either that or maybe that's probably what I'll do because otherwise it could take a little while for me to get everything and play with it. Um, do you have any suggestions? Is there anything that you'd love to see in a class to go? in June, um, if you know, if you've kind of seen what we've been sharing already, um, things that we could order in the pre-order are kind of what I'm referring to. If you have a suggestion, I would love to hear it. Or even, you know, just something out of the new catalog, and maybe I do it in June, maybe I do it in July. So we're just adding some adhesive there too. But yeah, I would love to get any suggestions that you have for what we should do for the next class to go. That'd be very fun. Okay, then we have uh, some linen thread, and I'm gonna make a double bow. So I'm gonna kinda loop that as if, so I've got two. Ah, the jar set, that's what you would like to see, huh, Susan? Yeah, you know, the crazy thing is, I just gave, <laughs> I just gave those away in my um, downline meeting the other night. So I'm, I, would, I kinda shot myself in the foot on that one. I will need to um, wait until I can order. <laughs> more because we're so limited yeah but that's a good one i could do that um it probably in well in later in june or july i guess guess of what i'm thinking so yeah okay that's a good one that's a very good one okay we're just going to use a mini glue dot did you guys see sorry now i'm like chatting and that you guys kind of get the idea right and we're just going to pop that oops okay well that's why it's not sticking because i didn't actually get the glue dot okay there we go I'm just gonna put that right there, okay? And then I was looking at this, I'm like, okay, it needs just a little something else. So I went to my almost all gone. These are <laughs> the basic adhesive backed sequins. The punch is super cute. Yes, it is, Susan, I know. Now I wanna do it, and like I said, I gave it all away already. That was the hard part. I wanted to get stuff into the hands of my downline members. Um, with the drawings that I do and giveaways and things. So that was one of them that I chose. Okay, so these are, like I said, the basic adhesive back sequins. So we've got, and I can't even tell you colors, but maybe these are kind of a tan, like a Sahara sand. You can see I have very few of these left. Um, these are maybe like the pearlescent. You can barely, I've only got two of them there, right? These are kind of a petal pink. These are a white, and then these are what I'm gonna call pear pizzazz. They might be soft sea foam. I'm not exactly sure, but I love these especially because they have the um, mini glue dots behind them. So they're very easy to work with. So I'm just gonna pop one there. I'm gonna put one maybe right about there. And then one more right down there. And that is that, I just kind of pressed firmly again. So these are retiring also. 
So if you like these, I, I love these with, like I said, and the kind of soft, subtle colors, they add just a little something without being too kind of bold. Um, oh, <laughs> Sharon, did you win them? I'm trying to remember who won them now. <laughs> well, all right, well, maybe I'll take you up on that until I can get mine ordered. That's very sweet of you, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So, okay, this is card number one, again, featuring the Garden Lane Designer Series paper, and then our new Many 